Hello, my name is Graham Reed. Welcome to the Tippy Melt Shop, the heart of the foundry. Here we utilize an electric arc furnace to melt metal to pour our castings. An electric arc furnace, or EAF, is a furnace that heats charged material by means of an electric arc. The charged material is directly exposed to an electric arc, and the current in the furnace terminals passes through the charged material. Currently, there are three working furnaces in the plant, and all three of them have a capacity of charging approximately 10 to 11 tons. Maximum heat size on the furnaces is approximately 24,800 pounds, and a typical heat takes 2.5 hours. The melting department has a goal of pouring 85 NGT a day, but their average exceeds that by pouring 90 to 95 NGT a day. When the tower engineer is ready to start melting at a specific furnace, a call is made to the crane operator to bring a specific bucket that has a required scrap for the heat as indicated in the recipe. The scrap bucket is then taken to the metal shop. The roof is swung off the furnace and the furnace is charged with scrap from the bucket. After charging, the roof is swung back over the furnace and meltdown commences. The electrodes are lowered onto the scrap. An arc is struck and the electrodes are then set to bore into the layer of shred at the top of the furnace. Lower voltages are selected for this first part of the operation to protect the roof and wall from excessive heat and damage from the arcs. Once the electrodes have reached the heavy melt at the base of the furnace and the arcs are shielded by the scrap, the voltage can be increased and the electrodes raised slightly, lengthening the arcs and increasing power to the melt. This enables a molten pool to form more rapidly, reducing tap-to-tap -tap times. Oxygen is blown into the scrap. Combusting or cutting the steel, an extra chemical heat is provided by wall-mounted oxygen fuel burners. Both processes accelerate scrap meltdown. During the heat, alloys and or dilutions may be added as indicated by the tower engineer. Also, samples are taken throughout to ensure that the proper chemistry has been reached. Once the temperature and chemistry are correct, the steel is tapped out into a preheated ladle through tilting the furnace. The ladle is then taken to the pouring bay to be poured into the molds. 